you know, I was actually on, like on my way out to the pen the other day and, and got called back and, and told I, um, you know, was was going to be traded and, and nothing was kind of uh, final yet, but it was, uh, you know, most likely going to happen and that, that was getting pulled. And from kind of that moment on, um, you know, getting out to Colorado, uh, being there for that game, coming right back here, it's, it's been uh, it's been busy. But, um, you know, like I said, that that off day kind of gave uh, gave me a chance to kind of regroup a little bit and, and try to, you know, it got, gave me a chance to familiarize myself with some of these guys a little bit. Like I knew I was going to be catching LeMay tonight. And, and so I tried to watch a little bit of video just to get um, at least, you know, mentally on the kind of uh, game plan and on the same page as, as what we were going to be doing. But, um, yeah, it's kind of a new experience for me, but it's been uh, it's been good so far. Yeah, it was it was different. Obviously, this is my first time being traded, and then just you know, kind of getting right back in there against those guys. Um, almost kind of felt like uh, like spring training a little bit, just seeing those guys and facing them again. But um, you know, it, it went well, and and uh, you know, just kind of trying to learn on the run and and trying to fit in as, as best as can. And and uh, it's been it's been fun so far. Yeah, the biggest challenge is just trying to learn these guys on the fly. I mean, we we you know, try to ingest as much information as you can, but you really don't get a sense until you see the ball leave their hand and see how it spins and, and just try to react that way and, and try to kind of match that up with what you have game plan wise in your head. From a scouting report standpoint, like I, you know, I, I know these hitters pretty well. Um, I think the biggest thing is, is learning not only your starter, but the guys coming in kind of how they work, what they like to go to, you know, when they're kind of backs against the wall, like just the shape of their pitches is, is big as well and kind of what gets guys back on track. So just kind of talking to some guys briefly, um, you know, in the clubhouse about, you know, kind of what they're doing, what they're thinking, um, you know, how they get back on track, things like that. Just little things that, that uh, you can kind of lean on when you're out there. Um, but, you know, like I said, you, you really don't get a sense until you see the, you know, kind of spin and the ball, how it leaves the guy's hands and, and you can prepare all you want and know the plan, but um, until you kind of see that and pair it with, with what you're trying to do, uh, you know, there's really no substitute for that. He's pretty special. I mean, the, the, the fastball, obviously the, the velocity is there. Um, I think, uh, you know, his slider is one of the best sliders I think I've ever caught. Um, but, but just seeing the way that he worked and he attacked the zone. I mean, that's uh, for, for a younger guy that, that, you know, is, is, um, you know, going out there and showing that kind of stuff, that's pretty impressive. I think the one word that comes to mind is energy. I mean, it's been, uh, you know, from the get. Uh, I talked to Garrett Richards actually before I got to Colorado, and, and that's all he said was this is just a great group of guys that, that want to win and come to, the, come to the field ready to win every day. And, and that's exactly what I've seen. And, and uh, you know, it's a really loose atmosphere, and, and uh, uh, it seems like it's going to be a great place to play.